This is piece 243 titled Darky Town Rebellion by Kara Walker. It is considered very provocative and controversial. So I'll be able to cover about three fourths of the content in the video. The rest we have to talk about in class. Context. Kara Walker grew up until age 13 in Stockton, California, in a pretty liberal environment. Her father was an artist, a painter, and he accepted a position in uh, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, as the department head for a university there. And so they lived in Stone Mountain, Georgia, from age her starting at age 13. And Stone Mountain, Georgia is known for this stone mountain that was carved into after the Civil War. I don't know when this carving was made, but it's a carving of President Confederate President Jefferson Davis and then Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson are two generals from the Civil War, and they're in here with him. So Walker, who is a Black American, didn't hadn't felt the racism in California that she now began to feel in Atlanta, Georgia. So her art from this point forward was really began questioning racial attitudes and stereotypes. So further context is that in art school in Atlanta, she began researching or after art school, I think, um, she began researching slavery and she examined historical novels like Uncle Tom's Cabin and Gone with the Wind, featured here with Scarlett O'Hara. And looking at this figure, hopefully you're reminiscing about uh, a mammy figure. So in addition to researching these this history of the United States with slavery, she found the art form of cut paper silhouettes, which was not considered a fine art, a high art, which was more considered a craft that could be done by anybody who could use a pencil and, and trace an, a line. So in her researching, she came across this painting by uh, an, it's anonymous, and it was created in uh, 1860, 1870 maybe, but it shows a, a day on a plantation, and these are some of them black figures, and based on her other pretty formal research about the history of slavery, she really questioned the authenticity of this painting, and so she challenged what that painting was saying in her own art. So this is another silhouette it's titled Slavery, Slavery. And you can see here, there's some pretty evocative pieces here. We don't quite know what's going on here. These images, we are left as the viewer to really figure out and make our own narrative. Now, Kara Walker provides us with these silhouettes that are interestingly in all black, yet we tend as viewers to divide them into both black and white characters. So more form here. This is still that other piece, not ours. This is slavery, slavery, and... Um, Again, it shows us life-size cutouts. And for our piece, it's arranged in a 36-foot space. And you can see there is a, an overhead projector. This is old school here. She's projecting up the color that we see, all that psychedelic kind of color. And the black silhouettes she has attached to the wall so it's the light from this overhead projector that's 
adding this dimension of color and well light and so what happens in terms of form is that the viewer steps into the room and when you step into this room your image gets reflected up here along with these cutout silhouettes and so you become a part you the viewer become part of this art and so that's an interesting aspect to the art so interestingly how do we distinguish between black and white characters here here everyone's the same color as i said and so what concepts are in our own heads in our own cultural heritage that do we bring to this piece that helps us to identify what the stereotypes are so that's what we need to discuss in class as to what what are we bring what do we see in this art and uh, so the function is that walker puts the story of black americans back into history she felt like they were completely absent or they have been distorted to support the institution of slavery she also shares the violence and the sexualization toward the black population before and after the Civil War. And this piece kind of informs the present. It reminds us of this legacy of racism because we're able to bring to this story our own history, our own knowledge of history. And so this help this continually shapes the American view of of racism. It's very evocative it's um again very controversial so we will deal with this the stories that we see here in class and that is kara walker and it's the darky town rebellion <laughs>